Hi, I'm Laura, and you're in for a real holiday treat. Sophia's here with me to make one of her favorite dessert combinations. She loves brownies and she loves peppermint ice cream. We have our favorite brownie batter in this bowl. For the recipe, make sure you click the link below this video. Whether you use store-bought batter or homemade, it doesn't matter. The process is what's important here. I've lined two 9 by 13 inch pans with parchment paper and we're going to divide the brownie batter evenly into both lined pans. Now that the batter is evenly distributed, we're going to bake these in our preheated oven for 12 to 14 minutes until a toothpick inserted in the middle comes out clean. Once we remove them from the oven, we're going to allow the brownie pans to cool down completely. While the brownies are cooling down completely, I'm going to grab our ED Slow Churn Peppermint Light Ice Cream out of the freezer to let it soften up a bit. Now that the brownies have cooled down, we're going to remove one brownie from the pan onto a cutting board by gently lifting the parchment paper. Next, we cut that brownie into 10 rectangles by cutting one line across the middle and then into vertical strips. I'm going to cut away any crispy edges. And as you can see, our peppermint ice cream sandwiches will have this rectangular shape. Of course, we need to fill this ice cream sandwich with something, so let's remove the lid from the ice cream carton. And using a serrated knife, I'm going to cut the entire carton in half lengthwise. I'm going to set both halves on top of the whole brownie that is still inside the pan and peel off the carton. The ice cream should be soft enough, but not melted, so that you can spread it over the brownie evenly. Now we top the peppermint ice cream layer with brownie rectangular pieces. Cover and we freeze for about four hours. So it's been four hours now and it's time to get to the best part. We're going to lift the base parchment paper out of the pan and onto a cutting board. I'm going to trim the edges with a serrated knife and following the pre-cut tops, I'm gonna finish our peppermint brownie ice cream sandwiches. What do you think, Sophia? I think it's good. For the recipe, make sure you click on the link below this video. 